Hello, this is Mark from the Me Techie channel. In this video, we're taking a look at how to install the firmware for your Logitech webcam, specifically the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Let's go to the Logitech website. That's where it all starts. Now keep in mind that this website will change over time and has changed over time and it never stops changing. So if you come to this video and things aren't exactly in the right spot, just either keep an eye on the description below the video here, or maybe I'll pin a comment at the top to show you the latest, greatest link. But for right now, let's just go to the Logitech website. So we need to direct ourselves to the actual camera area. So for that, we're going to go to, it's now considered uh, streaming. Streaming is where they subcategorize that. It used to be under cameras or something like that, but now it's streaming. So I'm going to go to webcams. This brings us into their webcam area, and you can see the latest webcams that they currently offer and support. So here's a C930E business webcam. The one we're talking about here is the Logitech Brio. So that's here at the top, Logitech 4K Pro webcam. I'm going to click on that link. And then here, down below, we'll see an option to download software and provide uh, where we can get more support on this. All right. So keep going all the way down until you get to an area where it says support. Click on support. And then we'll be directed to the support area. But it should highlight the particular thing that you want support on, in this case, the 4K Pro webcam. So it brought you to the support page, but then also further defined that search so it brings you to the right spot. In particular, you want to pay attention to the downloads area. So I'm going to click on downloads. And that should bring us to the option for all the things that we can download. Now, in my case, I'm using a Macintosh, so it's identified my operating system. If you have Windows, it should identify your operating system too, and then you can follow the prompts and download what you need. So in this case, it's Mac. And notice I can have different versions in the Mac here with these plus symbols. Um, and the choice I have here is Logitune, which is in my opinion, a fairly new piece of software. In fact, here we are in the middle of 2021 and the latest update was in May uh, 25th. So this is fairly new software relative to the time that this video is being made. Logitune isn't exactly a one trick pony. Logitune is sort of a companion app that allows you to get more information about the camera. It does allow you to install firmware directly from the app, which we're gonna look at here in a second. But the bottom line is this is a sort of a new offering from Logitech. So in a sense, it's this universal piece of software that allows you to connect to whatever Logitech webcam you have and do what you can do with that camera. Let's go take a look at it now. So I've downloaded it already and I've installed it on my computer. So let's just open it. It's called Logitune. And provided that my cameras are connected, it should identify the connected cameras. In my case, I have the Brio and the C930E. So let's quickly look at the C930E. There it is, and it'll give you a preview. I can click on settings, and it'll bring me to about the camera. And if it needed firmware, it would be available here, and I could just click the up-to-date button, which we'll see here in a second with the Brio. But essentially, this allows you to adjust things like the zoom and so forth right here in this little companion app. And I believe this is something you can run side-by-side -side with Zoom or Microsoft Teams if you want to adjust the zoom you can do all that here with the application, this side app called Logitune. All right, let's go backwards and go to the Brio. You'll notice right away, uh, the Brio isn't showing me here. Here's the Brio. You'll notice right away that there's even more options for the Brio because the camera has more options available. I can adjust the field of view here, as well as the zoom. Notice how much more responsive the Brio is compared to the older C930. All right, then I can even adjust colors and put in some filters and things like that. Other adjustments here, white balance, brightness, contrast, saturation. So the more the camera has to offer, the more that the software will make that available to you for settings. So that's just color adjustment. You have the autofocus options as well. So in this particular video, let's focus our attention on updating the firmware. For that, I'll click on settings and it says right here, firmware update available. So I'll click on that link and it brings me here. I'm still in the about the camera area. And here's the Brio. I've got the firmware version 2.0.30. I'll click update. 
Also notice I can do a factory reset down here, but for now, let's just click update. It says important, do not unplug the device, webcam firmware, and I will update. So right now the Brio is receiving its firmware update. I will come back when that's done. Okay, we're back. Uh, please note that you might have to disconnect the camera and reconnect it if you see after the update that there's no connected devices. I have seen occasionally that you have to unplug and plug the camera in order for it to reconnect. But now it has been updated. In fact, if I go to settings here and I look at about the camera, you'll see that the firmware is in fact up to date. I have now successfully updated the firmware on my Logitech Brio. Hopefully this works for you. You may have a different camera, but you should be able to use this particular piece of software for a lot of the different Logitech webcams, at least the late model ones. I would say from the C920 on up, you should probably have no problem working with this software and getting it to work. I demonstrated it here on Mac. It should be similar on Windows, although it could be slightly different. Uh, you know, it's a different platform, but the idea of what we're doing here should be the same. Again, a year from now, this might be completely different still. And it might not be called Logi Tune. It might be called Logi Tune Up or Logi Update or Logi Camera Companion or Logi Buddy. I don't know what will happen in the future. Uh, so you have to take everything with a grain of salt. The idea is to just get you oriented. But keep an eye on the pinned comment here below this video or within the description. I'll always try to keep the latest links for how to get this stuff relevant under the video, even if the video is a little outdated. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you on the next one.